Welcome back everyone. While we're here in Lion's Arch, let's go ahead and map it. What could possibly go wrong? The Commodore is better. Anything cool hidden up here? It just keeps going and going. <laughs> it really doesn't end, does it? <laughs> that is pretty cool. Alright, let's see what's over here. Vista, I see you. Maybe? I don't know. Ugh. Nope. Yeah. There we go. Just had to finagle my way around a little bit. There we go. Now that's pretty cool. A bridge of boats. How can you compare to that? Such a peaceful time of day too. What do you saw? Booze. Hmm, there's the vista. Do you require my assistance? Something tells me you might be able to help with that. <laughs> what exactly is this device? <laughs> Sounds like a good time to me. A jump shot. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Made it in one piece. A lot of mo birds in the city. <laughs> Karma merchant. Yeah, got nothing I want. Is that your face? Piss off. Inside here is actually a jumping puzzle. <laughs> what the? It's an ogre doing a lion's arch. <laughs> I see. Good luck. Yeah, if we just kind of go down this creeper tunnel, wonder what's over here first. Now oh, just bugs. But anyway, if we finagle our way up here. Looks like someone's doing it with us. Let's see. Oh, come on, camera angle. Oh, I remember. Gotta jump here. No, that's not the right side. 
right over here. Oh, oh, there we go. I want to say there are three jumping puzzles in Lion's Arch. This one, Trolls, and in the Pirate Jumping Puzzle. I don't know if I'll show you them all in this video, but I'm sure I'll work my way there eventually. And it poops us out right here. Whee! And we didn't grab that big point. No matter. Looks like the sun is coming up. Alrighty, it's been a while since I've done this vista. Where do I start? I think over here. This sounds about right, maybe. Probably should have jumped over here. Mm. There. There we go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. This is they are racing MOAs now. It came out, I think, last Dragon Bash. But they recently added a MOA racing. A great way to flush your money down the toilet. Let's check out this little island. Why not? We are touring Lion's Arch anyway. Might as well enjoy all the sights that behold. Andrew Guide. Alrighty. Cropland. We grow delicious crops. Where do we go from here? Maybe we'll jump on these hay bales. And around. But then where do we go from here? How about through the bushes? And through these bushes. All to see a pretty tree. Bum, bum, bum. Which I might show you later. Whew, that dive. This is where we had a historic bonfire after Flame and Frost. We had a big old bonfire here. It was really cool to celebrate the downfall of the Molten Alliance. In a cool little arena, which looks oddly a lot like the ArenaNet logo. Cough, cough, hint, hint. And maybe a point in Polymock? I don't know. Cool little Easter egg, though. Huh. 
And down here takes us towards Blood Tide Coast. Which at the moment during the Origins of Madness patch, uh, they released the Great Jungle Worm boss, which is permanent. So that'd be pretty cool. I think only one, maybe two servers have beat it so far, but it's also really glitchy and buggy at the moment. So a lot of servers are waiting to fight it. I fought it a couple times and managed to get at least one of the three heads uh, downed, at least, sort of. Because the trick with that is you have to get them all down within a minute time frame of each other. So some servers are just like focusing on one head, and they'll get one down, and then they'll get like a bronze chest out of like silver and gold. But something's better than nothing. Unless you have mass organization, it's very hard to fight the worm and win, per se. And these portals take us to world versus world, which is basically just server versus server, but it's still pretty cool. And over here we got the Vigil Headquarter. I'll let them do their Vigil stuff. Very important business. Fight with Valor. Okay. Gigantus Musicus. Sounds like a ferocious creature. There was a villain earlier in the living story plot called Mytrin. She was a big part of the Aether, Aether Blades. And it looks like she's still in captivity, actually. Why'd you do it? She was pretty fun to fight. Oh, I kind of feel bad. Uh, the whole living story has been going on for quite a while now, and I have no footage to show for it. So my apologies, but I can't cry over spilled milk. It was all just temporary content, and oh well. I mean, I have the stuff, the meta achievements and skins and everything to show that I was there, but I wish I had some video to show you guys, too. That'd be really cool in the moment. This fall looks a little hot. Oh, too late. <laughs> no biggie. Over here is the Fractals, which are high-end, level 80 dungeons. Here it takes us to South Sun Cove, which is really cool. This is the Consortium Hangout. Basically rivals the Black Lion Trading Company. Yeah, I'm good. Waiting for that sunrise to come up. It's kind of wanting to creep over, but hopefully we'll get that in the footage today. That'd be really cool. This is a neat little hideout that sometimes I like to come out and just chill. No one ever comes out here, though. I guess it's too far out of the way. We I mean, need if I can go in this building. Let's go check out the lighthouse. I want to say under here is Old Lion's Arch. In Guild Wars 1, this is where uh, players were way down here. Just a bunch of jellyfish and salmon. Oh, and there's even an energy probe. That has to do with the living story. Scarlet is looking for something, but what? I don't like how she can just sneak in Lion's Arch and just put this here and nobody knows this.
Ugh, <laughs> uh, that probe really takes away from the vista. SOB. are part of an achievement, so I'll get those all at one go at a later date. Let's try to focus on one thing at a time. Oh, there we go. I know a ton of people are, cannot wait to get behind this wall. The Dominion of Wind, the Tengu. Should I fear you? What is this place? What has led to this deep distrust of other races? Yeah, fair enough. Come here. <laughs> Drop. Yeah, Scarlet had her Aether Blade hideout. Right here. Right behind this waterfall. Ooh. Cleverly hidden. Clever girl. But, uh, yeah, the Aether Blades were just chilling out behind this waterfall for quite a while. There's so much information I could, I could go on for quite a while about everything that's happened lately in the Living Story and everything. I might start a separate series just for that, but we'll see how it goes. Still was hinting for us to jump. Any advice? Is it dangerous? <laughs> Thanks for the pep talk. <laughs> Dim goggles. But, uh... Alright, here we go. lively place. Such a big town. I guess you can call it a city. I guess you should call it a city, actually. Dermot Priory. Do 
doing what they do. Such pretty houses. I love these houses. This vista is probably the worst in Lion's Arch. Now you would think, oh, I can just go over here. Do, 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 do. And then you can check it out and go to the vista. Nope, can't go this way. Hmm, well, I can't go that way. <laughs> Maybe this way? But anyway. It is oh, a very finagly jump. There we go. And like a couple of badasses, we just, you know, walk all over people's roofs. Because I do what I want. Yeah, I definitely love using uh, ships as architecture, like buildings and stuff. It's such a cool idea. It's very luxurious up here. I'm just seeing all that Lion's Arch has to offer. Like what? What do you and the lug do around here then? I should just let you get back to business. <laughs> Scary. I guess that's why you wear that silly little skirt. business do you run here? Oh, I'm not afraid of your threat. There's two lion guard right outside. I'll tell him he said hi on the way out. I 
can you do? The glorious Black Line Trading Company. <laughs> if it matters, I voted for you. But then, I also voted for Kiel. And just how is she gonna get me killed? What's the danger? Lion Arch is a tough city. Don't you walk away from me. It's been hit before, and it's still standing. <laughs> See ya. And there's an underwear cat. Kinda like my kitty. Where's my kitty? No. <laughs> and all along here is all the crafting discipline tables. From artificing to jewel crafting to cooking, you name it, they have it. Oh. Oops. I guess I can't go in there. That's a bummer. Get me out of here. Jerk. <laughs> Why is that a problem? Why aren't people fishing here? Oh, I want to be able to fish in Guild Wars too. There's a lot of random, just general, simple things I would like to do in Guild Wars too that you can do in other MMOs. I guess that's kind of one bummer I have. Like, I wouldn't mind fishing or owning a house, making it look all pretty, stuff like that. I'm sure one day they'll deliver, but I will not lose hope. be really relaxing and awesome to be able to just come home after a long day of work, pop in Guild Wars 2 and go fishing for stuff. And there's the Mystic Forge. Quite commonly referred to as the Mystic Toilet. I'm sure you could imagine why. This would be an interesting place to live down here. Traditional pirates greeting, but your spleen is better unperforated. Good job on winning the election. Although, in all fairness, I also voted for you and Evan. <laughs> Maybe, but I know I, I know I know someone I voted for one. doing your patrols, you sexy beast. Oh, 
already. I guess we go over there first. Check out an abandoned area. There's several of certain gates here that don't seem to function. Which is very interesting, if I may say so myself. What I would like to see these do is, uh, expansions! Cough, cough. One gate takes you to Astan, another one to Cantha, one takes you to the island north, one takes you to the depths of Tyria, etc, etc. There's so many places these could take you. Or nowhere. I don't know. Whatever they decide to do. supposed to be super duper secret, but I'll tell you anyway, because you guys are awesome, that behind this bar is a secret pathway to the Order of Whispers HQ. I think it's right behind this, actually. Yeah, I think it's the, yeah, it's gotta be that one. But right behind there. And I think if we go maybe back here, we'll go inside. We'll find it, don't worry. This is kind of like a nice, cute, high-class bar. Oops. This is probably one of my favorite, like, little areas right here in Lion's Arch. I like the little waves, and it's a very gorgeous walkway. It'd be very romantic. dangerous being this high up with no railings, but what's life without a little bit of danger? These stairs is where the that bar is. Yep. <laughs> I can read through walls. Okay, anyway. What are we missing? Three points of interest. Oh, okay, so there's one, two, and where's tres? Speaking out. Beautiful day. Jump for it! <laughs> oh, it's a cute little quacking village.
safe from home. I guess I can go ahead and check the underwater areas too. So peaceful. Cleverly hidden in plain sight. Yay, we're finished with Lion's Arch. guys hope you enjoyed this episode of guild wars 2 have fun play safe <laughs>